I had a question actually very recently about uh, using a diode laser, and I got two of them sitting in front of me right here. Uh, can you cut marine vinyl, like marine vinyl fabric? I got a piece right here. Can you? Yes. Should you? Absolutely not. I'm going to tell you why coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And this is more of a public service announcement than anything. And yes, the title of the, uh, the thumbnail was a little bit clickbait because I kind of want people to see this. You get a lot of questions about different things you can cut and engrave with these diode lasers. And I have 12 of them, 14 of them actually, that I use for various different things. And I have a couple of them sitting right here in front of me. These are both 10 watt units. One's a longer, one's an X-Tool. Uh, we're fine. Question can't, was, can you cut marine vinyl with a diode laser? Yes, you can. Should you? Again, absolutely not. What happens? That when you cut that vinyl with that diode laser, the smoke that comes off of that contains chlorine gas. That will corrode everything on your laser, including the optics, the bearings, anything that's metal or aluminum. And there's a lot of aluminum on a uh, diode laser plus anything that's stainless steel. Chlorine and stainless steel together should never meet. The chlorine will make the stainless steel brittle and it'll weaken it. Okay, so I see people cutting plastic. Well, it depends what it is. This is a acrylic key tag. It'll cut and engrave acrylic just fine. Uh, what about HDPE? You know, like a, a plastic bucket or what my uh, vacuum container is made out of right here. It doesn't really cut it, it melts it, and it will easily catch fire. And the smoke it makes, again, will have chlorine gas in it, which is very, very harmful to your laser. Uh, another one is PVC, like uh, it's polyvinyl chloride. Uh, it's very common with uh, sewer pipe, water pipe. The white pipe you see, and uh, maybe you have a drain running through your basement or something, and that white pipe, that's PVC. Do not cut or try to engrave that because you'll get a ton of chlorine gas off of it. Again, it'll ruin your laser. Now we're going to talk about a couple other ones that are also bad. One of them's ABS. Yeah, off the top of my head, I can't remember what that stands for. That's uh, generally a black plastic. It'll just melt and catch fire. It, it doesn't. It doesn't engrave. It doesn't cut well. So that's something to stay away from. Styrofoam. If you've ever burnt styrofoam. You know how nasty that is, it emits some noxious fumes. It also will mostly just melt and probably catch fire. So there's another one not to do. Next one I've had a question on is Lexan or plexiglass. Here's a piece of it right here. This is not the same as this. This is acrylic. This is Lexan. It's a polycarbonate. It, well, if it's clear, it's not going to cut or engrave anyway because of diode light and just pass right through so whatever was underneath is where your engraving would be. But let's say you uh, painted this black or you have some black Lexan. I've never seen it but I suppose they make it. Uh, it's just going to melt, stink and make fumes and it's not it's not a good thing to use. Uh, as far as cutting it, it'll, it'll just melt and then where it melted through as the laser goes by it'll just come back together, reseal itself and you'll just have a gooey mess. So there's another one to stay away from. Another one not to do is carbon fiber. Will it cut carbon fiber? Yes, it will. Just bare carbon fiber, It'll, but it, you're going to have a lot of fraying on the edges. If it's a coated carbon fiber, you not only end up with the coating on the edges, you're going to have a bunch of noxious fumes. So there's another one. Find some other method to do it. Don't be using your diode laser on carbon fiber. Fiberglass. And I'm talking about like uh, a composite fiberglass where the epoxy resin, I'm not talking about building insulation or anything like that. Uh, say you had some type of fiberglass item, maybe a fiberglass tumbler, and you wanted to try to engrave something on it. The fiberglass itself, the fibers will not cut. They will etch a little bit, but they don't actually cut. The resin that's used to hold all that fiberglass together and make it solid it's just going to emit a bunch of nasty fumes and melt. So it's, that's not a good one either. If it gets too hot, it'll actually catch fire. So 
avoid fiberglass, you know, find some other way to do it. Okay, and the last one, and I saved the best one for last. Can you use a diode laser to laser engrave the sight of a bullet? My first thought was, why would you want to do that? Uh, brass does not engrave from diode laser. I don't know how much heat would be there. If it's a live round, I, I wouldn't even attempt it. I would just stay completely away from that. If it's an empty shell, uh, maybe you could try putting a coating on it and maybe get a small engraving on the side. I guess it would depend how big the shell is. But as, as far as laser engraving a bullet, whether it be the brass part or the lead part, uh, just no. I mean, that almost defies common sense there. But that's why I saved that one for last. But I get a lot of questions uh, about what you can do and what you can't do. So I thought I would take some of these and put them all in to uh, one little public service announcement type video. What not to cut on your laser or engrave. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting the thumbs up. I'm Roger in the shop. Don't try to engrave stupid stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.